Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you're new, welcome. In today's video, we are going to be doing a collab with Miss Nona Smith. I will have her channel linked below. Um, me, we, she subscribed to me first and then I subscribed to her, but it was right around the same time. It was about um, a couple months ago, I want to say. It was right around the time when I started posting my shot my stash videos, my first couple, is when she subscribed to me. But I'll, I follow, I subscribe to her back as well. But I had seen her channel, I think before I subscribed to it. I don't, I think it was in my recommended. Um, she does lots of different videos. She does hauls, shot my stash, um, shot my stash. Um, she does these videos that are collabs called Random Acts of Kindness where um, I believe people send her makeup, new or used, or gently used, or she sends it to them. I'm not sure how that works, but she has lots of different videos on her channel, so I will have her channel link below. Don't forget to go there to see her video as well. Um, we are doing top five concealers. I will be doing drugstore and she's going to be doing high end. So with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that bell so you'll be notified when I upload. And if you want to see what concealers I picked, just keep on watching. Alright you guys, so my first concealer is going to be a OG. It was probably like one of the first concealers I really you like the first one of the first concealers that I actually used and liked. Um but I think at the time when I used it I had the wrong shade. So it was a little too light, but I mean it worked. So my first concealer is gonna be the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle. Wait. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Yeah, Instant Age Rewind Eraser for dark circles. And it has Goji Berry and Haloxyl. I don't know how you say that. But this is the shade Caramel. This is like my perfect shade. I can also use the shade that's right below this. I believe it's Honey, but I'm not sure. And I can use medium sometimes if I mix it. But there was another shade that I used. I, I don't remember what shade it was, but this one's brand new. I haven't opened it because I'm trying to use all the concealers in my collection that are open because I already have a lot. But this is my favorite. It's like medium, medium coverage, but you can build it up if you want. Um, I don't like very full coverage concealer. I'm learning that I have dry eyelids, dry under eyes, all that, so I can't put too much, too much product, too much powder, so the less I put, the better it looks. But that was my first one. My next one is going to be a newer one. It's not brand new, but it's newer. It came out with in the last year I think maybe last year sometime um, it has a matching foundation that came out way back which is a staple in a lot of people's makeup collections um, but 
when I first tried it, I didn't really like it. I don't know why. Because it re it's really creamy. It kind of reminds me, not that I've ever used it, but the way that people describe the NARS Radiant C Creamy Concealer, it reminds me of that. And I've never even used that. But anyways, so what I'm talking about is the Milani Conceal Imperfect Longwear Concealer. And I have this shade 150 Natural Sand. And this one's a new one. My other one, I was embarrassed to show. Because it looks like this. It's almost gone. And this one's actually in the shade right below it. It's in 145 Warm Beige. So, yeah. I'm almost done with this. It looks disgusting, if I'm being honest. I probably should just throw it away and start that fresh one. But I, I think I have another one, actually. That's, oh no, this is it. I do have another one that is completely closed. So that was number two. Number three. And most of these um, concealers, I have more than one shade in. Number three is... A concealer that I... That's not new either, but I... Discovered in the last year, I want to say. Year or so. Um, I have... The last few um, backups I bought, they were on sale for $4 each, so I was so happy when I found them. You can, I don't know if they even sell them any, any, in any drugstores anymore. I heard a lot of people say that they haven't seen Flower Beauty or they've been, they've been seeing it, been getting pulled off shelves. For some reason, I don't know. I know at my nearest Ulta, they had Flower Beauty in stores, and now it's completely gone. Anyways, the concealer I am talking about, so number three is going to be the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer, the Full Coverage, Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. And I, when I use this, I don't put enough, I don't think it's, I don't believe it's full coverage. I feel like you have to build it up to full coverage. I only, so I have two shades. I have light, medium, and medium, deep. So, light medium, I only use, like, I'll take a concealer that is my, like, foundation shade, and then I'll take a little bit of this and just put it in the corners of my eyes just to add that highlight shade or to use it as my highlight concealer shade, yeah. So, I don't use very much of it, but I, I don't believe... I don't think it's full coverage, but I know you could probably build it up to that. I just never have. But it really, it, it is pretty. I like it. I like the packaging. It also reminds me of NARS packaging. I mean, it reminds me of NARS. Not the formula, but the packaging. Not that I've ever used NARS. So, I'm trying to get through this rather quickly because it's kind of late. Number four is my newest concealer that I have discovered. And it came out within the last six months, I think. Uh, I think. And I bought it. Right around the time when it first came out, but I didn't use it for a while. I want to say at least two months, two to three months, maybe. 
I think it was like two months. But when I did, I liked it. Even though the shade was not perfect, it was like my foundation shade, which I can make that work, but it wasn't a good concealer shade. Anyways, so I... This is number four, but it probably should be number one. But I had to put Maybelline number one because it's the OG. This is the new CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. And I, like I said, I have two shades at least of all these concealers. I have the shade um, T700 Caramel or Caramel. This was my first shade that I picked up and then I just picked T500 Natural Tan up. Alright, so my last concealer is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear, Full Wear More Than Concealer. And I have two shades. This is, it's got that big doe foot. I didn't show you any of the app applicators on the past. The other concealers, the CoverGirl also has a doe foot, a big doe foot. The Milani and the Flower Beauty I have smaller um, have smaller doe foot skinny small doe foot on the flower of course the Adrian has that cushion on top which I think everybody hates. And this is the Milani. It's just a flat wand. So, um, the two shades that I have in this concealer are 375 and 395. 375 is Latte and 395 is Walnut. I'm really bad at picking concealer shades. I usually pick them too light. Um, the CoverGirl was, when I got in the store, that was the only one they had left. And I really wanted just to try the formula. Not so much the shade. I didn't care. Um, but yeah. Number 5 is L'Oreal. I really like this. I used it when I went swimming. I believe it's supposed to be waterproof. But I'm not sure on all the claims on this. But I did use it once when I went swimming. And it stayed. So that was my five, my top five drugstore concealers. Um, let me know in the comments what your favorites are. Your drugstore favorite concealers are. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to go watch Nona's video. I'll have her channel linked below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.